This tutorial is going to show you how to use the scheduler activity so that your students can sign up for office hours. To begin, make sure that editing is turned on. You'll need to choose scheduler from one of the add an activity menus. If you're going to set up office hours for the entire semester, you'll probably want to use the very first add an activity menu. From that menu, choose Scheduler. Give this activity a name such as Biology 101 Office Hours. You can enter a description which might include a brief listing of your office hours and how you would like them to be used. By default, a student can only sign up for a single appointment. If you prefer, you can allow them to sign up for one appointment at a time, which is to say, after they've met with you, they'll be allowed to make another appointment. You can set the number of minutes for each appointment slot. You have the option of grading this activity, which I'm not going to do now. You can choose whether or not students receive an email notification when their appointment is confirmed or canceled. Click the Save Changes button to continue. On this next page, we'll set up one or more actual time slots for this activity. You can add a single slot, but I'm going to add a regularly repeating slot by clicking on Add Slots. For this particular appointment slot, I'm going to let the time period begin today, and I'm going to set the ending date to be the 23rd of December. And this time is going to be on every Tuesday and Thursday of that period. And it's going to be from 10 o'clock until 12 o'clock. I'm going to set the location this confirms my default settings that the two-hour period will be divided into 15-minute slots. I could allow more than one student to sign up for a slot but I'm going to keep it at one and I'll let this slot be reused if someone cancels an appointment. I can set Moodle to display the appointment to students immediately or to begin displaying it a certain number of days before the appointment. And I can set whether or not to send an email reminder to students. When you're ready, save the changes. Now you'll see I have 15-minute slots available every Tuesday and Thursday between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock from now through December 23rd. Now I'm also going to have an afternoon slot on the same days, so I'm going to add slots again, set the ending dates, choose Tuesdays and Thursdays again. This time it's going to be from 2 o'clock until 3.30. I'll keep all the other information the same and save the changes. Now you'll see that I have 15 minute slots every Tuesday and Thursday from 10 o'clock through 12 o'clock and from 2 o'clock through 3.30. Now we're going to close this window and watch as a student schedules an appointment. The student in this course sees a link to your office hours and sees the same set of slots that you just saw. In this case, the student is going to sign up for an appointment on the first Tuesday at 11 o'clock by clicking that button. 
Note that he can sign up for only one appointment at a time. The student will have to scroll way down to the bottom of the page and click on Save My Choice. Then he or she will see that that time slot is highlighted and designated as Booked. Now we're going to see what will happen when a second student tries to sign up for office hours. The second student clicks on the link and notice that that 11 o'clock slot for Tuesday is no longer available because it's been taken by student number one. Now we'll go back to see the instructor's view again. When the instructor clicks on the link to the office hours now, you'll see that there's an appointment made with student number one at 11 o'clock on Tuesday. This page shows every 15 minute time slot that you've made, whether those slots have an appointment or not. But you can choose to see an overview, which will list only the times in which you actually have appointments. Note that you cannot share the same time slots between two of your courses. In fact, Scheduler will prevent you from making the same time slots available in different courses. So if you have more than one course site, you'll have to designate different office hours for those courses.